Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic IDW interpolation, how we can easily use and then make the groundwater level map. So in this time I have some data set such as this data set is mainly represented the water level aquifer. From the aquifer what is the distance between the water level so now i just use this type of data and then try to show you that how we can easily use the arc map software so mainly idwi technique in arc map software and then make the water level map properly okay so let's go so first of all i simply open my data which data i want to use in here so just i simply open my data my uh, desktop. So here I can see I already prefer the data here. Okay, so here you can see the CSV file. Okay, so in this time we are just use this data set. So here you can see this type of data set. So it represented the uh, different types of well ID. It is the well ID. The location about that. Also, you can get the Anna about the location we can get the latitude and longitude about that as well as we are also get the groundwater level uh, in meters okay so what is the meters aquifer level what is the distance groundwater level we can get this data in here so first of all this is my data set okay so this data set i need to import in my art map software so how i can import this data set very easily we can easily import in my ArcMap software. So just I simply open my ArcMap software and then click on the file option. Here you can see one after the add data. Okay. So in this time I want to add the data in XY data. XY data. Add XY data. So click on here. So now simply go to the your browser where you uh, save your file. Here you can see this is my save about the water level CSV. This file I want to use. So for the click on here and then add. It automatically uh, selected X field is the la uh, longitude and Y field is the latitude. In this time, you also need to uh, define about your coordinate system. Unknown coordinate system, you can see. This time, I simply click on the edit button. And now, I just simply select that uh, geographic coordinate system for Bangladesh. So, just I simply click on here. So, for Bangladesh, I put here the WGS984. This coordinate system, I simply select. And then, uh, OK. So, now, click to the OK. So now you can see here this type of point I add in my art map software as well as I also need to import this boundary about this area. So in this time I simply import the boundary shape file. So I just simply go to the boundary shape file and here I use uh, this boundary shape file. I just simply imported the boundary shape file in here. So here you can see it added. In this time from here i just need to clip for only for my study area suppose if my study area is the dhaka city just i simply clip the dhaka city so just click on the laser tool let's by laser click on here and then simply click on this layer and then export this data so export data i give a name i simply save that uh, shape file in my specific folder suppose i put the name is that roi you can put any name no problem so then click to the yes yeah then okay, okay. So now I want to add this layer. So here you can see now it's added a my boundary. Okay. As well as I also add this type of uh point. Okay. So he is represented the different water level height. Okay. So now I just use it. So for that I need to uh in this time here you can see this point also show as a CSV. Okay. So in this time, this type of point I need to convert into point feature. So for that simply click the layer again and here you can see the data so just export data so in this time i can see i just simply save it uh, as a shape file point feature i put this name such as the level if you can put any name i put the level dot ssv save it so now this type of uh, point convert into the point feature Okay, so you can see it's the point feature. So it's uh, in this time it's not it. I simply remove that. Okay, so now here we can get the point feature. 
as well as we are also get the boundary so now i can easily apply the interpolation so just i simply click on the catalog from that go to the system toolbox so here i can find out the special analyst tool click on here after that here you can find out the interpolation you can see interpolation i want to apply the idwi so click on here and now further you can see the input feature so first of all you can simply input your uh, this is the point feature so basically this is the point feature i put the name as a level click on the level as well as jet field it's very important about the jet field so in this time jet field here your ground water okay it's the aquifer level so just I simply give the ground water this column and uh, if you want you can also choose the specific folder about that then put the file name about that suppose I put this uh, in the water level and after that save it and then in this time the output scale is very important if you want if you, you can put it at the 30 meters so it's, it, it's a different okay so in this time i simply would say the suppose 30 meter and then go to the environment uh and then you can simply click on the you can see processing expand so in this time select uh, default and you can see here the same as your same layer is your ry your study area and then go to the your so raster analysis and from here you can click on the marks marks with our roi okay this is our study area then okay after that just click on the okay so now it create the idw interpolation and create the water level map okay so it's a uh, it's a little bit not working so i try again YWI. I simply put the level that fill is the only ground water. So then I put at the output cell about 30 meter and go to the environment processing standard slate at the same as our my boundary area or our study area. Then go to the roster analysis. In this time I just simply prepared that marks with my study area. Okay, so it's a track software, so sometime it will be not working. Don't worry about that. Try again. Okay, just by using the default name, then friend. Same as layer ROI. Trust analysis. Okay, so now it's okay. You can see here we can get uh, this type of uh, interpolation map. So now go to the properties from here and then simply select the you can simply select the symbology so here you can see the different type in the nine class i simply select the five class okay and you can see the classify and i simply select the class we can uh, equal the interval equal interval you can set the equal interval and then you can set level so click on the level and you can see the format level okay so in this time i just take only for the two deci uh, decimal value so just put here the two and then okay so now again so you can get the only two decimal value in our level okay so this is the level so 21.12 from 30.15 meter okay so different types of level you can get the water level you can easily use here the different types of color so you see one minute simply set different types of color I just I use this type of color and apply and okay. 
So now we can get this type of uh, boundary. Okay, I also add the boundary layer. So just hello and then okay. So now this one's added here. So now we can get this type of boundary here. You can see. If you want, you can also modify the sample logic. Suppose you want to add here the um, hill shade. You can see the use hill shade effect. Okay. When you want to add here the hill shade effect, then we are going to get this type of hill shade view. You can see. Put here the Z1 uh, and then okay. Now you can see we can get this type of hill shade view and we can easily identify where is the or this type is the is the low okay, very near to the water level okay, and it's also a distance from the aquifer level from far distance this type of a region we can easily identify okay, and the very near so in this time uh, here i just simply uh, add here suppose if you want you can also don't need for the hill shape view just simply uncheck suppose you can see that you use the hand it's simply uncheck it so uncheck and then okay so now we can get the normal map about the IDWI. So now in this time, I just add here the contour map. So for that, simply click on here and go to the you can see the surface and click on the contour. Okay, mainly contour identify about the same value. Okay, uh, as a point. Then simply click on here. Then I simply input raster. Is that by shape file IDWI? So click on here. So then, uh, count uh, in this time count uh, contour level interval. Suppose I put the interval is the two meter, okay, and then it's not need about that, okay. Then simply click the increment, and after that you can see the processing extent. I simply set the processing extent as the same as your study area, mainly ROI, as well as also go to the you can see the raster analysis. So click on the raster analysis, here you can find out that marks. So marks with your study area ROI, okay. Then okay. So now click to the OK. So now it easily create the contour map and identify about the same uh, you can see same uh, level or same uh, equation about that. Okay. So now we can get this type of things you can see. If you want, you can also make the different types of uh, symbols or color. This type of things you can easily add, and then you can easily represent this uh, control scene here. Okay. So now in this time, I want to calculate it. Suppose uh, is height how much area? Suppose is Class, how much area uh, for my study uh, area? I want to calculate the area. So for the calculating the area, first of all I need to okay. So near it's a it's a near to the near level of aquifer. It is the high high is the high. Okay. Uh, now I simply click the OK and make the class raster class. Okay. So now it make the this type of total five class about this map. So now from here I can easily uh, make easily make the uh, area calculate the area so for the calculating the area first step you need to conversion okay so it's a raster format this raster you can convert into vector so for that you can simply go to the conversion tool you can see conversion tool and then from here just simply uh, open you can see the from raster click on the from raster in raster to polygon you double click on here input raster in this time this is the reclass this i done and then uh, just simply do the default folder I use and then OK. So now it creates the raster to vector polygon. Okay, so just I simply open that here you can see the attribute table. So here I can get this type of I can see the grid code 31251. So basically it is a class. Okay, so in this time this is a similar class I need to match. Okay, so similar class I need to match. So for that go to the geoprocessing tool. And here you can see the uh, dissolve. Click on the dissolve, and I want to dissolve here the this layer. Okay, raster to this. I simply select that, and click on the grid code because here you can see the all of this class in the grid code. Okay, so in this time I simply click on the grid code, as well as uh, then click to the okay. So in this time it create the another layer. In this layer, all of the similar grid code will be merged. Okay, it's done. You can see dissolve. So now I simply open this uh, attribute table and show you that. Suppose click on here and open attribute table. So here you can see I can get this type of reason. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So now just click uh, on here and add the field. Okay, in this time I just calculate the area. So just I simply add a field and put this uh, name such as a uh, class. Suppose I put the class is that uh, class name. Okay, so then uh, text. So now you can see uh, simply add here the <coughs> low, very low, low, 
moderate high variance. So just I simply uh, start the edit feature. Here you can see the edit feature. Start editing. So now is I just simply click on here. Suppose suppose very low distance. Then uh, low. Moderate, moderate, high, and also put at the very high, just put at the very high, very high distance from that uh, atmosphere level of water. So then, after that, simply stop editing again, and then yes. So now it's safe, you can see now it's safe. And I just create the another layer in this time. So now I just add a new field in here. So just click on here, uh, add field, put the name suppose area, and uh, double. So yes, as well as I create the another <coughs> field. Suppose uh, per sentence, per sentence of area, and put here the double. Okay. So now it calculates the area. So just click on here, you can see the calculate geometry. Yes, in this time it show that you can see the area disabled. Okay, it show that because in this time, uh, it the geographic coordinate system in my system. So now I need to convert into projected coordinate system. So for that I just simply click on the layers again and go to the properties. From the properties I find out the you can see coordinate system and find out the projected coordinate system. So in this time I use that the UTM and uh, UTM uh, WGS984 a northern hemisphere for my region. I just simply put here the UTM zone uh, for my region is the 45 to 46. So just I put here the 45 uh, north and apply and okay. so now it's set it okay so now we can easily make the area so for that click on here you can see the calculate geometry yes and now you can see the area is the open okay so now you can simply select here the which area you need suppose i need to calculate the square kilometer then okay then yes so now it calculated the area in square kilometer as well as i also want to calculate the part sentence for the part sentence first of all i need to calculate the total area for the calculating the total area, just click on here. You can see the statistics. So here you can see the total area. This is the total area. I simply copy the total area value from here. And now just click on the part sentence and go to the field calculator. Okay, that field calculator. Yes. So in this time, area. So you can see the part sentence equal to area. Then uh, divided by total area multiply with 100. Then I can get the part sentence of is level so then uh, okay so now it can get the part sentence we can see we can get the part sentence so a uh, very low how much part sentence 10 percent you can get that uh, low 25 percent moderate uh, 31 percent high 22 percent and very high distance 9.19 percent okay as well as we already make this type of uh, map here you can see for that water uh, level we can easily make this type of map also reclassify as well as also you can see this is the map about that so very low represented the 21.12 uh, from 30.15 this region and how much we can get the 10 percent okay so further you can easily make the map layout as well as also use the data for your analysis okay so i hope you can enjoy this video so if you have any uh, doubt you can just simply comment and if you want to get this type of study material such as this type of data set or other things you can simply join in our um, telegram group okay from that you can easily get this type of study material so that you can easily practice also with me okay so today is no more thank you